I'm here at the People Centered Internet Conference and I'm talking to uh, Malis Tilk and he is from Estonia and he implemented the healthcare system record which is an example for us all this is what we want to have because I can basically look at my own healthcare records I can decide what's available what's not and uh, I can even see which doctor has access the system how long have you uh, been working on the system how long did it take from conception to implementation we started some uh, 2004 and it was uh, fully implemented in 2009 so Five years from yeah. design and thinking about it to implementation on a national scale. Yes, and now it's uh, six, six, seven years full, uh, full, uh, and uh, all services. Uh, of course, it, it was step by step approach. Then we we started with uh, basic uh, concept and infrastructure and standardization, and then different uh, professional groups uh, joined in different time frame like uh, emergency uh, uh, just last year and dental care this year uh, and and but but the family physicians hospital started in 2009 who did you work for who was the organization who put it together and what did you what was your role my, my role was i was ceo of estonian e health foundation which was a special organization created uh, for for lead uh, the the development yeah by the government with a law also huh? yes. and with a law under your belt you have to do this yes uh, exactly and I was uh, personally responsible of delivering the system so uh, and it, it's very very important and are you a doctor are you medical yes, I'm or a medical doctor but I have also uh, background uh, I have been in business school uh, learning uh, IT management and uh, and public health in uh, in Sweden in dif in different uh, institutions so I have uh, quite a a broad uh, uh, knowledge of, of yeah. healthcare. Okay, and, uh, but then the questions we all have. Okay, nobody wants to participate. You know, everybody is saying this is my data. Don't touch it. It's my system. Don't touch it. Uh, how did everybody in, uh, in Estonia says, "Oh, it's a law. We'll all cooperate." How, did it work like that? No. I in in the beginning, uh, even all professional groups or medical groups, they said, "No, this is our uh, speciality data. We want to keep this in our community." Okay, you're normal people yeah, and your normal organization. But uh, but then uh, we had in in parallel several working groups, and one was the ethical working group. And they came out uh, a concept of of, uh, of uh, caring doctor. It means that if you have doctor patient relations, mm -hmm. then you have access to the data. It's it's very very. very yeah. So no, not everybody has access. Only the caring doctor. Yes. Yeah. Technically, you have, but but in law, it's that you can use the uh, the uh, possibility only if you have caring relation. Yeah. And uh, and before we started in HEHEL, it was already accepted in society that. Uh, uh, citizen is owner of the data and uh, and he or she should have full control who has looked the data in so 2004 that was already a concept which they yeah. which you uh, okay we, we just uh, uh, accepted it was uh, accepted 2002 and uh, all these infrastructure component like id card uh, se uh, secure uh, data exchange digital signature there was already there and 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 then the ethical uh, working group said that uh, the the benefit uh, of data sharing is bigger for society than for the personal and we have to uh, step over these uh, silos yeah. thinking and and look that there is a citizen in the middle and we as a doctors are around uh, citizen and providing our services but the data belongs to the citizen okay so that was the second uh, thing and then did did it start did, did it start from hospitals as a center or did it start from the patient or or from the general practitioner what was the center i think uh, there was a uh, uh, different pioneer groups uh, uh, family doctors uh, were very active and some hospitals and some other specialists as well so uh, it was uh, this was a group of 50 people 20 people 100 people uh, less than 100 yeah. but uh, but it it was and the people who really mattered how much were the people who really put it together and made it happen was that that's a sm normally a small group how yes, big one less than 10 <laughs> less than 10 yes <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and and then uh, you had to find the pioneers in each uh, group and mm -hmm. ask them to join to this uh, roundtable discussion, and then they went back to their society and said, "Hey guys, 
that is quite good ideas. Let's support this. Mm -hmm. So it was like uh, uh, involving these uh, groups uh, in in uh, very early stages, yeah. in standardization, in in all, even in technical discussions. But mainly, how uh, and, and other important thing what we did, we educate all professionals. We had uh, different courses, and we talked them what will change if we go to the digital health record, yeah. and. You don't have to. You, you you are not allowed to go there mm -hmm. if you don't have curing relation. Yeah. And also, you have to say it's not that every information is copied into the central healthcare system. There's only a select group, a data group, yes. which is basically copied. What 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 is uh, kept centralized and, and and which is a percentage of what, for example, in hospitals, what what, uh, what do you store? Let's say in hospitals there is always more data what than than in. No, so what is you, what do you store central? We have uh, uh, discharge letters, referrals. Uh, ambulatory notes, uh, uh, of lab results, r lab results, prescriptions, X-rays, uh, images are in different pack system. You you can access this. So uh, different uh, user groups have d different documents, and all together uh, around 50 uh, different documents are standardized uh -huh. and implemented in different uh, user groups. Yeah. In, in school healthcare, you have tot totally different documentation than in 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 hospital, for example. So the the data. Uh, the documents uh, are different, but yeah. data are the same. Yeah. It's and, it's uh, and the IT systems are also different. So, yes. but I've, because you had a standardization, you could make a connector to every uh, every system. How much of the problem uh, of the project was political and talking and standards and agreeing, and how much was technical? Uh, uh, technical was around uh, one fifth of the project. Uh -huh. The main was uh, change management. Uh, selling this idea to the user groups or also to the society, yeah. so the project management, yeah. also this ethical discussion, legislation, yeah. everything was more important technical. than technical. Technical was the simplest thing uh -huh. because there was a provider who had a task to integrate different systems and create the let's say the frames of xmls that every uh, every software can uh, cope this yeah. and uh, it was paid if the job is done yeah, how much money did you totally spend we spend uh, 10 uh, euros per uh, each uh, citizen so 13 million uh, euro total yes okay and that was during and that is that for yeah doing five years and is that the technical cost or is it also the cost of all that this all that talking it's all and also, uh, it's it's con consists two years maintenance cost because the data was calculated from 2006 to 2011. The the study was okay. made there. So it works. 80% uh, of the work is talking. 20% is uh, technical. And now you have been working for it for five years. What is the result of five years centralized record keeping? After several years, we we see uh, saw a huge increase of uh, usage of the data. First two years. Because we started with zero, yeah. we, we didn't take any history because no. uh, history in different system was not, uh, it was in poor quality, okay. it was not standardized, okay. we, we, no we started, no history. Yeah. So after a few years there was already letters and, and now the, the, it is like exponential growth of, of uh, uh, data sharing mm -hmm. because now the doctors and patients yeah. who have from uh, uh, beginning full access to the data yeah. they see the same amount of data than other uh, each professionals yeah. so uh, and and uh, now we see that uh, they really use the data mm -hmm. the main users are of course uh, family physicians yeah. because okay. they are uh, look, looking the holistic uh, approach mm -hmm. you have the personal responsibility of your patient group or list uh, uh, hospitals are not so interested of uh, 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 data no, they think they their own stuff is yes. much more important yes yeah. and and uh, they are more like a, a ca case per case uh, things yeah. but now we are realizing that this is just the beginning the integration of and, and one question but the, the patient itself I mean I saw you can decide as a patient what data the, uh, the the healthcare profession has access to. You can turn things off and, and, and say this document is not allowed this so I test but um, it is basically general. It's open until you decide that it's closed, right? It's yes. opt out. It is opt out. Yeah. And how many patients are actually going to their own records? Um, very few. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I think it's less than 15 percent. And the, and the main interest group are young women who are willing to look their, their newborn's uh, 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 ultrasound yeah, pictures. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is the most active uh, uh, user group. <laughs> but um, uh, th that's the pr problem because uh, it was very... Uh, the, the system was created uh, for data sharing between yeah. uh, healthcare professionals. Yeah. In that uh, time, we didn't understand what we can gain if we uh, open the data and if we build uh, analytics on it. Now we understand that the integration is just the beginning mm -hmm. and this is just a cost. Yep. There is no benefits yet. Uh -huh. The benefits will come where you reuse the data and you uh, start to create uh, smart services under the data, what the, uh, up above the data what you have uh, collected. So, if you uh, implement decision support, mm -hmm. artificial intelligence, yep. you can, you can, you can go into prediction and warnings yeah. and uh, analysis for the whole country. Yeah. Yeah. And now, now uh, we are uh, started in Estonia um, a personalized medicine pilot project. We we uh, sequence fifty thousand uh, uh, citizen. Mm -hmm. We have a genome project or ongoing already ten years. Mm -hmm. We have examples, and now we. Of course, Estonia has that. They have everything. It's one point three million people. It's a teeny <laughs> peeny little city in America, and they have their own government. They have their own system. They have their own IT, and it really works. It was really interesting. If you learn, listen, so you you are doing a lot more. You li you looked at the San Diego example, huh, which is a big city. Yeah. You know, like uh, millions and millions, much more than your country. What what did you uh, did you hear? They were explaining how they were working. Could you recognize some of these steps? Yes, uh, the same same issues, and now they c came out the same. That the it's also the same approach. Yeah. Eh? Same approach. Same approach. No What's no that? integration. No no centralized record keeping. Just a messaging yeah. system which keeps uh, which keeps a uh, which keeps everybody informed. Yeah, but it's technical yeah. question. How do you solve this? The okay. the problem is the services, yeah. and I didn't see the services what they provide to the citizen they are uh, still very oh, the citizen was not there yeah they are uh, focused on on the okay. providers all right i cannot i cannot stop this conversation but i have to because we're going back uh, is there a website which people can take a look at uh, the background of the of the whole system and how it's developing yes it is uh, e uh, tervis dot e e e tervis t e r f v i s yes okay dot dot e e okay good luck thank you very much